Hey, what's going on, you guys? Let's move you guys to the channel. Your boy Big Dog back with another one take review, and I finally seen Honey Boy. So yeah, I'm here to review it. Um, Honey Boy stars Shia LaBeouf and was also written by Star Shia LaBeouf stars Noah Juke and uh, Lucas Hedges, who play uh, Otis Lord, and they play him at. Um, Noah plays him a younger version of him. And Lucas plays an uh, older a version of him, and, and and it's it's essentially a story about a kid actor who's a rising star who also is dealing with his father, who is a, a former felon, and and like he's also the person who kind of like he pays his dad. This is Shia Buff. I think it's based on like the story. Shia Buff actually plays the father, who's based off his actual real life father, and it's a I'm pretty sure it was a difficult role. To, uh, uh, to, to, to do considering the fact that this is probably some very emotional stuff that he had to deal with because you actually see that in this film it's kind of weird because one you're your dad's boss at the same but you're still his kid so you're kind of taking care of him but at the same time he's still taking care of you and like it kind of creates this like this middle ground that is very very tricky to in order to coordinate because this is this is yeah this is a this is a difficult film to kind of like just simply break down and just say like this is this it's this this and this because it's not like it's it does a lot of uh, jumping back and forth because in the future uh, current or like well not not the future but like uh, the, the current timeline in which Luke Lucas uh, Hedges uh, resides which is in two thousand five and Noah Juke is in uh, uh, nineteen ninety five no no no. Yeah, 1995. And so it jumped back and forth with each different time. And in 2005, he's kind of like, you're seeing the results of what all that happened when he was a kid. And you go back and you, and you see those events. And it's kind of like, he got some real bad PTSD from, you know what I'm saying, dealing with his father. Because, like, it's it's not, he wasn't a great father, okay, people? He just wasn't. And, and then that stuff definitely has an effect on you because, one, you're going up super fast and then you get through into this stardom, this lifestyle, you know, only certain things. That stuff affects you once you get older. And we saw how it played a part in like maybe drugs or drinking and you have to go to therapy and you have anger, anger management issues. Because he's scoring. And I, I think it's a really well done film. I don't, I didn't love the film, but I thought it was very well done for what the, the message was trying to get across or, or just like the story. Not, not, I ain't gonna say the message was getting across. I'm gonna say the story that it was telling. Because Charlotte LaBeouf does one hell of a job. I think we all can agree. Charlotte LaBeouf is one of the most underrated actors to date. Because I think the guy, whenever he does, is always great work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and and they definitely, uh, uh, in this film, when playing the father who cares about his son, but at the same time still isn't a good father, you know? This it's it's this it's like a whirlwind where like you trying to you're living through your child's success but at the same time you're jealous of your child. And and it is it's a very rocky road and uh the director mm, I'll make sure I get her name correct. Uh Alma Harrell. Alma Harrell she she knew what she was doing with this. This is a, I mean, it's it's such a tricky tricky film to land and and make work, but but it does like, and, and you get to certain scenes without a fight, and like super tense. Like you you kind of uncomfortable, you know, because there's there's this feeling of like there's this kid who kind of just wants his dad around. And in order to keep his dad around, he's like, well, there's a line he said, if I didn't pay you, you wouldn't be here. Which is it's, it's crazy to think. It's like, oh, well, if, if I stopped paying you to, to, to be my like, manager or whatever, you would leave. And I would be, I would have to just pay some random person. You know, my mom's not here because she has to work. And it, it's, it's, it's this image that. Shia Buff's character tries to play or like portray to the wife. We never see the mother in this in this film, but like she does have a conversation. She's actually talking through the kid, and like it's that scene is really good. Like the way he's on the phone, uh, 
Otis is on the phone with his mother while his dad is right there and he's conveying messages from her to him because he doesn't want to talk to her directly. It's really good. Like, it, the film is, I ain't gonna say underrated because I think everybody who sees this film appreciates it, appreciates it, but I think it's overlooked. That's what I would say. I think if more people saw this, this film would be a lot bigger than what it is but i definitely think it's a fan people should check out and i uh, and, and and get you give i want i would love to hear what everybody else has to think about this film because i thought it was very unique and 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 powerful and and brave on the on the part of Charlotte LaBeouf to actually play his father in this because i think after the there's i don't think you can just completely solely judge him and say oh he's bad or he's he's trying or like there's it's the lines are very, very blurred, and you can, I don't think you will ever say he's good, or in the context of what you, it just always depends, well, I think it would kind of depend on what you would think is good, or what you would think he's trying to do, because there's also another scene where you kind of see like there's something good going for the kid, and he kind of like messes that up, it's, yeah, it's definitely something you have to see and judge for yourself. But overall, I think the film, like I said, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so, four from Scorn, Honey Boy. Honey Boy gets a B. I liked it. Definitely check it out. It, it, it's worth your time. It's worth your time. Also, if you've seen it, let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my video. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.